let's explore how to create a planner task whenever an item is created in our SharePoint list. In my case, I'm on an information technology site where the team is tracking support requests that come in, maybe through a Power App, maybe they're manually entering these, or maybe people are coming here directly and entering them themselves. But in any case, no matter how they're entered, I want to make sure that I'm creating planner tasks so that whoever the assigned to individual is gets that on our planner plan. So first of all, in order for this to work, in addition to our SharePoint list, we need a planner plan. So I'm going to go to the home page of our SharePoint site, choose new, and then plan. Okay, so we're going to call this one IT support requests, and I'll create it. All right, so that part's pretty easy from here. Uh, you can go and customize these buckets. You can add uh, custom labels and all that stuff. But just for today's demo, we'll leave it just out of the box just like that. So now we've got our list where requests are being tracked, and we've got our plan where we'd like to create those, um, those tasks. So now the middle piece to get one to go from one side to the other is Power Automate. So we're going to use our app launcher in the upper left-hand corner and find Power Automate. And if you don't see it there, click on the All Apps link, and that's where you'll find Power Automate. All right. So from here, on the left-hand side, we're going to click Create to create our brand new flow. And then I'm going to choose Automated. That just means that we're waiting for something to happen, and it's going to trigger automatically. So in my case, this is my IT Support Requests Planner Task Creation. There we go. And my trigger is when an item is created. So you can name the flow whatever you want to, and, but just make sure for your trigger you said when an item is created, and it's a SharePoint action. Okay, I'll choose Create. All right, and then you need to specify the site and list that we were just on. So that site for me was the Information Technology site, and that list for me was the Support Request list. There we are. So that's all we have to do for the trigger. We said where to watch for new items to be created. Now click on New Step. Okay, and this is where we're going to create a task. So you can search for create a task. Make sure the one that you choose says Planner when it pops up. And I'm going to go with Create a Task Preview, but you can also choose just the normal Create a Task. So I always like to see what those preview options are. All right, so create a task, and then the first question it's asking me is the group ID, aka the, the site in our, in our case where that lives, and that was, again, information technology. And we just created our plan, so we should have a plan under plan ID called IT support requests. So I'll choose that. And then the title, I'm just going to make this match whatever it was in the SharePoint list for the, the actual task title um, that was created. So that's going to be a one-for-one -one match using my dynamic content out here on the right. Now remember, you could have customized your buckets. So for me, I just have the default, but you might have three or four where you want to place these. And maybe you're matching those up with different categories over here. Okay, uh, for my start date and time, I'm going to go ahead and say whenever the item was created in SharePoint is my start date for the task. And then due date, uh, let me do something kind of fun here. Maybe it'll give you an idea. But I'm going to say we never want something to go over seven days after it comes into us. So I'll, I'll click on the due date field, and I'm going to go to expression. Over here, instead of choosing dynamic content, click Expression. And I'm going to say um, Add Days. And then I'll open up my parentheses here. And I need to say the base day and then how many days to add. So for that, I'm going to switch back to dynamic content while I'm typing in that expression. And I'm going to choose my created date again. And then at the very end of it, I'll put a comma and then 7. So I'm saying 7 days from the day it was requested is when it's due. And I'll say OK. There we go, and I've got my expression in there. So it's always due within a week. Okay, and then for the assigned user, we already have that in our list. So I'm going to choose my assigned to email. It does support email addresses. And then if you did customize your labels, you can choose one of your, your color-coded labels, perhaps, if you'd like to. And then at the very bottom here is your priority between 0 and 10. So I'll just leave that blank for now, and I'll click on Save. All right, so it says it's ready to test. Let's give it a test. So I'm going to go back to SharePoint, and I'll find my list again for support requests. And I'll click on New. So I'm acting like we're manually entering our requests here. And I'll say my issue is my uh, monitor uh, has dead pixels. There we go. And I'll say I can't see the left corner. <laughs> 
priority for me is high, so maybe I do want to use that 0 to 10 scale and do some conditional logic in there. Uh, status, yep, new, assign to, let's assign that to Megan. There we go, uh, date reported is today. There we go, and I'll do Miriam here for issue logged by. Category is hardware, subcategory is display, and save. There we go, so we've got our new list item in there, and theoretically now if I go to my plan, I'll see a task there created assigned to Megan for this particular issue. So I'm gonna to go to our homepage of this site, and I'm actually gonna add that plan as part of our homepage so that we have easy access to it. So I'm gonna click edit on my homepage. You could, by the way, just go to Planner, use your app launcher and click on Planner to go find that plan. But I want it to be easy for my team. So I'm gonna add a web part on our homepage right at the very top here. I'll search for Planner and select that. And it automatically went to my plan since it's the only one that I have, but you might wanna change that if it's not showing the right plan and then republish. All right, let's go check on our flow. So I'll go back to my flow. I'm going to look at its details page here. It says it succeeded three seconds ago. That's fantastic. Let's go back to our SharePoint site. Check it out. Here's my monitor has dead pixels task. I'm going to open up that task card. I can see everything in there that I, that I entered. So I didn't set a priority, but I do have a start date and a due date that's a week from now. Uh, and then I've got my uh, monitor has dead pixels. So there you go. That's how you add a task to your planner plan whenever an item in a SharePoint list is created. Good luck.